Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play People's General. Uh, yeah, so we are at Ulan Ude, the capital of Buryatia region of Russia, following the Trans-Siberian Railway, as you can see here, east, near Mongolia. And Mongolia is still considered an ally, I think, the last remaining ally in the region of Republic of China, uh, People's Republic of China. I think Republic of China is basically uh, Taiwan. Anywho, yeah, so we are uh, heading there and well, I think the mission briefing said there will be a lot of troops positioned now uh, to uh, defend as we go closer to Chinese mainland. Yeah, so the last mission was a success. Uh, lost only one unit, I believe, a linebacker. And after that, we were just able to um, use the river assault tank as you can see there's a lot of river assault attachments still equipped on the tanks now we might have to remove some of them but as you can see in the background there are some rivers here so um yeah i don't think you can completely get rid of them although i'd like to because i'd like to make some purchases here the requisitions on um yeah a certain unit that will provide us with a bit of a uh, different um can I say venue of attack? Yeah, so we are going and following the railway and um, going to meet a lot of different troops, uh, especially from the beginning and toward the end. Because I think this is the third time I'm playing this map after the first Eastern campaign, the UN missions, and now here, right now, with the US troops. Um, yeah, as I was playing the Eastern campaign in this uh, particular scenario. General Ling was still trying to get his feet off the ground, I guess, uh, trying to you know, earn some experience for his most valuable troops. And I think this being the fifth or sixth scenario in the campaign, it wasn't that difficult, I think. Designed it so that it's a bit different. It's a bit different that we have to follow the railway and there's no villages or something like that um, uh, being part of the objective. So you basically, um, yeah, just going through the railway and there are some objectives along the way it's just you know taking the railway bit by bit that's considered the uh, fulfilling the objectives i think it'll be no different here we have to just you know go through the railway and then uh, capture it as much as possible and the eastern campaign was not that hard but now i believe that this is going to be rather tough coming from the un missions where uh, i was surprised at near the end because they apparently the PLA apparently uh, reserved some of the tank forces near Wulan Wode, the capital of the region. And I thought that, as I would normally do, the Chinese would have front-loaded their defenses near the beginning, but they didn't. And they used all the uh, rivers and the uh, terrains very well, basically trying to cut off our progress as our vanguard troops were uh, cordoned off with a lot of tough troops awaiting us as we crossed the rivers. And uh, we weren't able to bring the full effect of the armed forces. Uh, on them and subsequently uh, suffered a bit. Uh, yeah, so I'm trying to uh, avoid that fate for these troops and uh, for that matter, I think we need to see the map to see uh, exactly what the regions look like. So let's go and uh, without further ado, see the map, how it is formed. As you can see, um, it's rather narrow map. It's all mountains um, in the north and the south. Well, a bit of south but then yeah majority of the mountains are here so this is off limits basically i'm sure that there will be some different units here in the clear hexes the enemy units they're poised to maybe ambush us from the flank but then um i think most of the uh, forces will be congregated around here and around here uh so yeah this is rather a difficult um place to get out of so i guess we need to keep some of the river assault tanks near the front yeah so basically following the following the railway so if we had a lot of troops and positioned well i think we'd be able to bring a full brunt of our you know uh whether dominant force to bear upon these objectives the problem being that there are a lot of rivers so uh, i think i need to as i said before need to keep those river assault tanks yeah, and then I remember having a lot of trouble in this part, in the... Sorry about that, I don't know why the map doesn't scroll well. Anyway, um, let's just use this then. 
Yeah, so we need to be careful around here as well. But then thankfully, there are only two objectives to capture in the capital. By then, I think we'll be able to see whether the victory conditions are going to be um, met very clearly. And yeah, here we go. There are the rivers here. And then as you can see, the objectives are basically the bridges. Yeah, not much to defend here. So it's going to be pretty easy if we are prepared to face the forces across the river. Yeah, and then going to bring some heavy forces, I bet. And I believe that the uh, Russians will be joining us, but I'm not so sure exactly where because the deployment zone is rather small. I guess we'd be supplied with Russian troops, but not as non-core units on the map. Yeah, the scrolling is rather difficult here. I don't know why. Um, I have to restart the uh, game. Or I can try to figure this out. Somehow use the arrow keys. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I can use the arrow keys. The scrolling is a bit slow. Let's see if I can change the scrolling here. Sorry about that. Um... I mean, uh, I guess not. Yeah. I guess I cannot change it. Then the support was this. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Alright, so let's go back and see what unit we can bring in. And then I think the requisition is going to be rather quick. Because I do have a... I do have a plan on how to go about this. So because of the rivers, I think I just keep most of the river assault attachment. And, um... Yeah, I'd like to maybe bolster the infantry core, but I did promise a viewer that I'm going to bring in um, either CAS, CAS helicopter or uh, Orthog. Now, CAS, I believe, is a. Uh, I think it's a former Soviet Republic. I think that's what they call or refer to the former Soviet republics or the entirety of the region that is comprised of the, the Soviet Union at the height of its power. Um, so this is this is probably uh, what the viewer meant by CAS helicopters. Uh, we have a pretty good selection of it, uh, Havoc being the best of the bunch. And comparably priced to the American equivalent. Yeah, it's a bit cheaper, but I think it definitely does not lose on the offensive front. I guess it does a bit in the soft target, but by only one, and it more than makes up for the rest of the Categories. I can probably check right here. Uh, yeah, 24 and 9. Of course, this is upgraded. As you can see, 22 and 9 and 11 and 12. 11 being the ground defense, 12 being the air defense. Ground defense is going to be important for these helicopters. Yeah, 10 and 12. So it loses a bit, but really doesn't... Um, yeah. Actually... Yeah, it's more offensive oriented. So, it's a bit of a wash between these two. Now, the special uh, category of attack helicopter that I like to also see, uh, if I can bring in, is the Warthog. Now, Warthog is a very special unit indeed. It can also attack helicopters pretty well, and it's going to be a very versatile unit. Only thing that I am worried about is the amount of ammo that it has. And I believe in the map, I think there was only one uh, airfield, but then that airfield is under our control. So it will, be not, it will not be difficult for it to, you know, go back and try to um, charge or get rearmed. But it's a really special unit that I'm kind of worried about um, if I were to bring this unit, whether it's going to be target of a whole slew of different anti-air. It's going to take a really special kind of care for this to be effective and um well i mean if i want to bring in the helicopter it's going to be definitely a very very you know big addition but this brings a whole different dimension better for or worse uh to the army as it is if i were to bring this um my heart says i want to bring this but my head my rational side uh, climbers for me to bring in um, one of these helicopters. But then I try to, you know, follow my heart for once and bring in a Warthog. Now without attachment. Well, with the attachment and see if we can um, 
do anything substantial. Now, um, I don't really believe so, but I mean, if he is able to do it, then I will be very happy. Um, yeah, which one should I choose? Well, not the recon, of course. Uh, whether, well, I, unfortunately, I cannot use the combat support now. This is out of the reach for the this air unit because I don't know. Maybe it gives them too much strength or something. But definitely would have made a very good use of this, which increases the ammo count by two, I believe. Unfortunately, I cannot do it. So better rely on the. Yeah, better rely on the, uh, I guess, special munitions. And this is going to be on a very short leash. So if this gets damaged by as little as 3 health point, I seriously think about retiring it. Now, as it is, um, yeah, so I purchased it. So as it is right now, my army is okay. It's a pretty good shape. But then I do believe... Well, I feel that it's kind of getting behind in the overstrength department. I would have uh, preferred to bring these tanks up to around 13 or 14 now that experience is really high. But then I did receive prototype unit so that that kind of compensates for things, especially with the 3 range gun. And I, well, I will bring um, some other unit because I I think it's going to be better served that way uh, by removing some of the river assault uh, river assault attachment. Now, where is the rest of the tanks here? Yeah, okay. Um, I will bring the river assault on the highest leaders, highest experienced leaders, but I will try to, um, yeah, I guess the river assault off some of these guys see yeah this one for example particularly because I do have engineers that will be able to help me I'll lay a bridge across the those rivers We have 271 now. Okay, so I can bring in an infantry unit if needs be. Or at over strength. So I do have a couple of engineers, one with the river assault and two with river assault, so they will be able to lay some bridges. The problem is that these guys will be vulnerable to artillery strikes. Yeah, so any other Russian units that I can. Yeah, I cannot really bring in any other Russian units anymore. Alright, so let's over strength. I think two tanks. Um, they're all 12, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I can overstrength this guy. And what else? Infantry, definitely. Uh, let's see. No, not infantry. Let's see if I can overstrength. No, I can overstrength it. 11. Yeah, should have overstrength those. Uh, I'm okay with the tank over strength, so I guess I will skip the helicopters. And instead, try to over strength one of these guys. Very important unit uh, in of itself. Alright, let's over strength this guy. And that's it. Check out the dossier. Yeah, we are on a bit of a roll. Six brilliant victories. I like to keep more brilliant victories over the other uh, victories. Uh, as you can see, the kills are very disproportionate. That's probably par for the course for, uh, uh, for the campaign. A good record. And there are some blemishes here. Tactical victories at Ho Chi Minh, Kazan, and Volgograd. I do remember Ho Chi Minh being a rather difficult. Um, particularly because I wasn't prepared for the, the river assault. That definitely choked a lot of different elements of my army. Ah, 60%. Now, this is a bit of a difference uh, from the last mission. Now, we are getting back to uh, China. They have more uh, resources to target our 
the linebackers and the anti-air. Hopefully it's going to be limited to wild whistles, but uh, considering that they bring some helicopters too, this is not going to be an easy mission. I can feel it from the start. Alright, let's save. I do say every time going into these missions that it's not going to be easy, but I do have a feeling that Ulan Ude is going to be particularly uh, particularly uh, sticky or painful. Uh, do rather um, kind of well, kind of annoying. Yeah, eight turns. Okay, so don't really see a lot of Russians, but we do have a benefit of the expanded zone here that I didn't notice here and here. Okay, so we need to decide. The, all right, two part. One can go. Okay, the pins are take on these two areas, and then we can combine the forces in that manner. Okay. So obviously bringing in uh, tanks, either tanks. Uh, no, let's get the leaders a bit distributed. Yeah, but all the river assault capable tanks. Those said it's gonna come later. Okay, HQ. Uh, HQ is going to be following this area. Uh, it's going to come a bit later. Let's get the tanks going. And one recon on both drop zones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll be um, kind of laid bare here. I think the only, um, what do you call it? Only deployment zone is going to be on this side. So we need to make sure that we provide with ample anti-air first. Uh, this is a bit too valuable with the river assault. So. Okay. One Tunguska, one Patriot. Now two Tunguskas or one linebacker here. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused once again. They all look the same. See. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of bond here. That could be a problem. And one is Striker Scout. Another one here. Basically, it's gonna come later. Triot. Hmm, I wish I could go back and readjust a couple of things. Yeah, let's go back. Sorry about this. I need to see whether I can bring in some other units. Uh, because I do feel that I am not being careful in the you know, makeup of the army. Now, what, what I missed was I would rather uh, take the river assault from these guys as well. Sorry about this, I'm, this is probably the first time or second time doing this going back after I have uh, saved. But I think I need to do this you know, to bring in at least one more anti here because I am kind of scared of the 60%. 60% air superiority levels. Now, all those air superiority, air superiority Point or air mission point will be targeted toward wild weasel because uh, without the uh, I mean, without because of this guy yeah, I'm really scared about the anti air the PMU is targeting this guy from like ten hexes out and it will because um, it has high profile and it's very visible and there are a lot of them DK nines HQ sevens PMU three hundreds um, LY sixties. Yeah, they're gonna target this. So we need to be very, very careful and vigilant. And one thing to do is to dissuade them from attacking, which is uh, going to be the majority of where my air mission is going to go. And that is Wild Weasel against those. All right, let's bring in one more on here. Yeah, it's taking a lot of time. Yeah, okay, so I feel a bit better now going into it. So let's uh, override it. Ulan Ude. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Follow. 
Thunder Powell. Yep. Okay, that's the A10. I'm back here. This probably is probably going to be targeted very quickly. And I don't think I need to put a recon here like I did last time. Just need to uh, yeah, put one more tank and then see what I can do. Patriot is going to come. Yeah, Patriot here. One Patriot here. Uh, I don't know whether I should be playing, placing this. I guess I will. I don't know. Right. And a lot of artilleries. Yeah. A couple bit later. I am like pressing a lot of different buttons. Yeah. Gosh. I'm getting confused. Sorry about this, folks. I used to put this yeah, here. Alright. Now the artillery is high Mars. Uh, high Mars would have benefited from our uh, attachment or two, but I will get to it probably next mission. Right now, I need to put a uh, striker scout or, or the observer. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Let's get the clear. Let's get the scout. See what we have. Alright, so we have this. Any more? No. Okay. So let's get going. Alright. Let's drop some more recon. Yep. There's uh, well, not a lot of guys right now facing us in the first defensive line. Okay, now we have found some very, very hardy units. Camouflage expert, of course. Not going to help a lot because of the profile is rather high to begin with, but still. Now, K50 Air Werewolf. Very impressive unit, and it's going to uh, come, into our, come into the range of our troops. DK9. Right, can also attack air units. Right? Yeah, definitely cannot take air units. Very sovereign uh, type of uh, <laughs> unit to be facing off against. Alright, so let's see if we can make some um, progress here. Okay. Yeah, this is good. 1 in 6, okay. Uh, the airfield, sure, capture it. And four, six. Sure. Didn't see artillery in the in this region, but this could be an artillery unit. All right. Let's see what I can aim at. Um, I can aim at. Well, I can probably aim at this guy to blunt the attack. I will probably do that. Yeah, take this guy. 2 and 2. Right. And overrun. That's good. And probably low set is going to help against that recon. Yep. 2 and 4. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Okay, and drop more artilleries. Now, this guy could come back. Oh, okay. That was a pretty bad, bad attempt, but I guess rather lucky enough than that. Okay, so yeah, that was a pretty bad attack. Yeah, very bad indeed. I'm gonna come back. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so that was rather. Um, I was rather foolish there. Very foolish. Eight. All right.
Uh, I do. Right. Let's move the Patriot a bit. Uh, seven, okay, I'm okay with that. Right. Uh, but then first, Scout. Going to afford observe this guy. And six. All right, okay. Yeah, very useful. Oh no, don't go there. Yeah, now the scout is able to go here without worries of uh, you know, rounding around this area because a lot of swamps uh, made it, I don't know, just take a rather weird pathway. They have been ambushed. Now the Crusader can do some work, yeah, some more damage, as you can see. Now uh, I wonder if there I need to uh, scout ahead in this area also. Um, might as well just bring the tank here and overrun it. Can I? Yeah, I think I can. First of all, I need to measure whether the uh, anti-air is going to be able to travel there. So obviously bring in an anti-air. Yeah, he's definitely able to travel. Okay. Overrun it. Yeah. And... Let's see. It's already shot, so I can probably damage this guy. Yeah. Oh, no, there's a uh, WS1 already. Also present, I think. Yeah, it was around here. Oh, gosh. Alright. I might obviously this guy. Let's see what I can further reveal. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, there are a lot of... Um, and here, so not gonna go, not gonna be. Yeah, this is going to be a tough mission. I expected as much. It's probably, uh, I cannot check how far they can move, but I think we are in range. But it's probably just good for us to wait. And just weather these things out first. And then try to counterattack. I think that's a better idea. Uh, yeah, but I can attack this guy. 8 and 4, wow. I really want to destroy this guy now. But it, this probably, for all intents and purposes, go back because of its heavy damage. I don't think it's going to be um, now at much use. Now, this is uh, 8 movement, right? Six. Yeah, so if I were to attack with the helicopter, it's definitely going to be able to target us. Uh, with the rest of the artillery, I will just target the uh, this artillery. Hopefully it's able to destroy it. Let's see. Um, is there any other artillery? No, I think that was it. Interesting. Yeah. I can go there though and overrun it. Two and six. Wow, what about I don't know why, but then um can I be able to damage this guy too much? I'm not so sure why. I can overrun it though. That's good. And um Yeah. Linebacker to support this guy and Tango Sky as well. And for everybody, I think I need to bring every um, 
that we had here to be able to defend this against the oncoming air attacks, air missions. Okay, get you every move there. KCM is gonna go a bit closer. Helicopters, I don't know about helicopters, I think I just leave them be for now. I definitely attack this guy. 9-3, it'd be nice if I can destroy it, but I think I already spent everything. Um, so, just a precautionary measure, I guess. Uh, I need to see. Uh, I think my guys will destroy though. So is this recon movement guy? Yeah, it is. So I can probably recon ahead and see. Yeah, okay, could have been surprised if I um, didn't take care. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, try to destroy this guy. Uh, one by one. Yeah, that's another WS1. Could be a leader because I do see multi counter battery action going on. And destroy this. Then come back. No, just stay there. I stay there. This might be better. Patriot is gonna get up there, and then the Matunguska is gonna probably stay back. I don't want to save this particular Matunguska because it's going to fire at whichever air mission is gonna come and soon be run out of the its missiles to defend against the helicopters. Hi Mars, uh, let's see. Yeah, just better stay in the back. Comanche, well, yeah, the Comanche is not going to do much due to the fact that it's basically too far ahead. Too far ahead and of course there are anti-airs uh, swarming here. Let's see what else I can deploy. Okay, only in the back though, so I can probably move the Units here, and then see if I can further deploy some units. God, I can deploy nine units. Okay, um, mostly all infantry and a couple of tanks that I probably would reserve until later on. Yeah. Okay, so I just keep them. Just keep them. Scout should come back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of not really liking the formation right now. It's kind of spread apart, but it's kind of broad. So there will be no worries about the you know flanking attacks. Uh, unless there's some troops still around here, I can probably check. But I do want to conserve the mission point. But it's, I guess, good to check. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing. So that's first turn. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is mechanical. Yeah, they're going back. Um, like I said. Ambushed. Pretty good news. Wow, that is that's amazing. They basically overran. And yeah, keeping up the appearances of airstrike. I don't think it really matters though. 23, yeah, it's going to be a small comfort though, because you're gonna just pile it on. Yeah. Maybe if we can survive once more, oh, okay, just yeah, go ahead and then uh, probably our defenses. Okay, wow, I didn't know. I didn't know. That could have been a really nasty surprise. They didn't lose uh, a lot too. Alright, they're taking our tanks. Fortunately, they're not taking our linebackers. Now they are taking our linebackers. Oh no, it's a Patriot. They really want to attack the anti-air for some reason. Okay, I guess that's a good compromise. Does not attack? Is that it or is there more? Okay, that's it. Okay. Uh, Alright, so did I lose any units? Yeah, I lost two linebackers. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. But all intents and purposes, we should consider ourselves lucky. Definitely, because of the surprise attacks from the north, I was wondering about the unit chair, but I didn't know uh, that they had one right north of where we deployed. That could have been disastrous, really. 
point five. That's not good. Okay. Uh, green seven. Yeah, can do rather well. Low side is able to handle that probably. Six and three now overrun. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Uh, tracer to scout. Yeah, need to run ahead. Let's see what they have. They have another tank here, definitely. Um, this guy is camouflage expert, okay. I'd rather deploy... I'd rather deploy um, tanks and then overrun it. Yeah. Or fight with the infantry, if possible. Yeah, I think this is going to be something. Yeah, that's probably more preferable. Yeah, definitely. You can probably just use the infantry and then uh, drive him out. And then also defend from any further incursions from the north. This is reverse assault capable, so it can go across the rivers, but... Alright, now they're coming down. And these guys are supported, probably. Um, yeah. My range is getting smaller and smaller, so I need to be extra careful. Okay. Should board observe. Seven and seven, I can probably overrun it. No, I can't. Okay. All right. Three, and three, three and eight. Helicopter could do it. Yeah. All right. That's that. Good, now it opens up the space to attack from this area or go for the artilleries. i rather go for artilleries, if it's possible. Let's see if I can um, bring any different recon over there. Uh, it's a bit far away, yeah. we we'll probably use this. Night and... Fair, okay. Uh, should I do recon? Yeah, you can never. I rather earn the side of caution. Okay, so there's some um, units. Can go. Yeah, I can probably decimate them. Okay, good, good, nice. And here is there, okay. So I can probably bring in the Arathog against that. And reserve the reserve this for more um more threats. Let's see. Okay. How many more do I have left? I'm okay with that. Have one more. Oh, just destroyed it. Okay. Well, I guess that's good. All right. So that's the tank that I was talking about. Yeah, I think Warthog should go there instead of trying to attack uh, the artillery. Uh, maybe in the range of the anti-air though, but that's still another problem. This doesn't have, yeah, this has reverse salt. So it's that one. Nine and two. Yeah, now I can attack here because I know that the uh, uh, tank is not gonna come uh, from, I guess, further regions. 
Uh, I guess they can still come and um, I might be a bit exposed. That's true. That's why I need to uh, maybe try to move the tanks up here. The rest of the tanks that are already deployed, like these two. And then uh, deploy the rest of the tanks and then uh, try to strike the guys here. Let's see if I can make this work. Uh, don't really think I... Uh, okay, let's do it. Yeah, uh, 6 and 5 is good. Okay, we need to push ahead a bit though. 1 and 5, yeah, let's do it. Okay, can I lose some more? Yeah, I lost 2 there, that's not good. Yeah, losing 2 or more is not... Not good. But I need to destroy these guys as well. The this one. Okay. Going a bit further back. I don't know what to think about that. Now is it time to deploy some night units? Definitely. Move this guy up here. Move this guy here. Overrun it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's definitely a leader. I think. And I can move this guy here. I also should have um, that guy if I am able to uncover it. Uh, yeah, I guess I can come and see. There's a mechanized infantry. Okay. Let's use the road. See if we can go back. Right. And this guy is definitely will have to protect these guys. Um, he'll be exposed in the north. And also from the WS1. Yeah. Okay. Linebacker. Check a Scott. Back. Checking. Just checking. Right. Still plenty of ammo. Good. No. Yeah, forgot about deploying these guys. Let's see if I can deploy right here. And then go... Yeah, reverse assault. So that's good. Yeah, and try to form a bit of a line on this side as well. Deploy the rest of the tanks. Also reverse assault capable. And... Uh, I guess... And try to keep attacking. 5 and 2. Did I lose a unit? No, I don't think so. And bring in a night unit. See if I can uh, get it out. A bit of risk. Okay. No. Doesn't really work that way, it seems. One and zero. Alright. Probably work hard. Very much so. And this tracker scout is available, so I can probably try to attack this guy. If it's uh, close enough. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a uh, leader. I wonder if he'll be supported by anybody else. No, it is by itself. Okay. I put some pressure here so that it doesn't replenish. CSM is going to be able to finish off either this guy or this guy. I'd rather go for the mechanized infantry. Alright, I guess it's a bit too close then. 
Uh, this is more like it. Now, someone is going to waste their turn to try to defend this collision. And this is have to um, not be able to do too well. He feels off to attack directly. And if it opts to um, get replaced, then these tanks will be able to finish it off. Yeah. Oh, I have another artillery. Okay, well, then it, it settles it. I can probably destroy that guy. No, I already shot, so. Okay. Alright, no matter. So, right now, um, well, let's check out the map. Just starting out. And uh, after this area, we need to split up the troops. But then I remember this being rather empty. So using the infantry, we'll be able to do some work. Uh, the problem is any um, other units that are lingering around here decides to come, of course, I can listen for any movement uh, from that direction. Okay, yeah, they're trying to... Oh my goodness. Damn it. Sound terrible. If anything. Second ambush already. Gosh, that was pretty loud. Sorry, I think I lost a few decibels on my hearing. <laughs> I don't know whether there's the right term, but uh, okay, that's the end of Striker Scout. Uh, I didn't know that there would be the best one. All right, oh well. Yeah, so it goes, as they say. All right, uh, another tank. Okay, they're coming in piecemeal, so I guess that's good. Now these are river assault capable, except for this guy, yeah, not this guy. So. I'm wondering if I can actually go across and then try to attack. I think I can, so I have to make sure that uh, I... Yep, just make a note of that. Right. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, going for that WS1, the leader. And there was some heavy exchange of fire and there's some casualties already. But seeing that there is uh, no other units, uh, anti-air unit, I will try to pick up for this tank. 5 and 7, okay, that definitely helps. 1 and 7, ah, well, I do it then. Yeah. Yeah, I lost one, and no problem. Okay, there's one more tank there, okay. Yeah, it's going back, and I think this guy will be able to do it, yeah. Now, Tracer is going to forward observe. And get the Crusader going. Yeah. Can't battery fire, but it's only two strengths, so no, no biggie. Was scared for a second, but it's okay. And we run? No. Oh, it's really heavily entrenched. Alright. One more will suffice. I hope. Okay, just destroyed it. It's just getting too powerful for its own good or something. Alright, now let's try to attack the tank over here and make a choke point if possible. Um, I don't think I can do it, but... Yeah, I think I'll be able to do well though. Yeah, you can see the... Nice! Finally a leader, Core Master! Horror Master, I think, will be able to replace or get replacement without any kind of penalties after the first time it does. The second time, third time, normally the unit will only be able to um, get partial replacement, so never the full strength, but this one is able to do it. So it's uh, pretty good if you want to um, get this guy and... I mean, you have to still mine the experience points, but I think if you're in a pinch, you'll be able to do it. What is this? Uh, okay. Yeah, this air uh, text. I can probably probably do some. Can I try it. Maybe I should try it. Uh, that was pretty bad, but it did reveal the extent of the defenses here. Uh, I guess it was a uh, both the. Uh, Recon mission and the Wild Weasel. 
can see a lot of artilleries, but I don't know. I need to look at it. Since I lost my uh, recon, it's uh, something that I should be careful. Be more wary about when deploying uh, extra recon because I'm kind of getting low here. I think four recon units are a pretty good amount. Uh, this is anti-air, okay, so no need to worry about uh, low set being targeted by artillery, but I mean, WS1 is around here, so it can still target us. I can try to um, see what they have here. Okay, yeah. Oh, they're loud tanks, okay. Uh, and they're moving. I don't think you'll be able to move to directly um, face off against us in the next turn, so I guess that's a bit of a comfort. Yeah, but then if the tanks go this way, I can probably do airdrops and then try to destroy this guy. Or use the artillery to nullify it. When they, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, this is green troop. Not that impressive. Yeah, kind of just overrun it. Interesting, and then aim at this guy. A lot of mechanized infantry is gonna come. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this. Can probably destroy this guy. Yeah. And aim at this guy. Perhaps. Six and four. Oh, it's going away. I thought it was not suppressed, but it was. Okay, but one scout. Now, should I try to cross? Probably not. I shouldn't attempt that yet. Okay. This guy will be able to do some revert assault, but. Just trying to go around us, uh, strike us from the back. Night. Yeah, not going to do too well, but I can. Uh, let's see. I'm back This guy's also a problem. Yeah. Bit of a problem. Game use right here. Low set. No. Linebacker. Let's see. Garrison unit. Right. Still damage these guys. I can probably destroy this guy with the combined strength of the artilleries. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can. Uh, maybe I can destroy this guy first. Oh, okay, it wasn't my good artillery. Alright. Five and seven. Alright. Can be a bit better. 
26. Uh, yeah, just go ahead, build a flank. A bit of defense. Those that I can still use. Uh, well, not here though, because I don't have any target. Uh, it's reverse lock people. Interesting unit. Uh, I don't know about this guy. What can this guy do? Hmm. Can target this guy. If I'm able to damage this anti-air, then I'll be able to target that mechanized infantry. Yeah, I guess I can do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's going to come under fire once again. Rich yacht. Hi Mars. Okay. Hi Mars, you'll be able to drop in. But I'd rather target this guy if possible. Maybe just destroy it. Yeah. That's very good. And now what? Um, yeah, still I'm not really convinced that we not be under attack from the DK9 over here, across the bridge. Now if we were to set up a general defense here, then I'd be able to do it. You know, attack this guy with the helicopter. And this is clear or mountain? Oh, it's mountain. Okay, could be problematic, but this guy is able to handle it due to the fact that it has a high attacking ability in the close battle. I wish I could do it, but I don't know if I can. They had, I think, three. Yeah, three. Uh, three of them. But if I were to do Wild Weasel, then yeah, it's going to come under heavy fire. Uh, Even the airstrike is not going to work. That is without question. Uh, I can probably try it. Uh, I think there's one here. Yeah, okay. That's definitely better. Uh, I can probably try it once again and... You know, the helicopters perfect this guy. Yeah, I don't know about... I don't know about... If it was around um, 6, then I'd be more happy, but what's the difference between 6 and 7? Wish I had another um, artillery. Much, uh, I don't know. It's able to fire from here, which is very problematic. Okay. Um, uh, let's just try and see how bad they can damage it. Yeah, 1 and 8 is definitely something that I want. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can... Maybe from here? No. Somebody has to move up. Yeah, I like this guy, but I think it's going to be destroyed, left on its own. Is there anything I can do to... Well, I can use a knight to maybe buffer it. Prevent it from uh, coming. I can try that, but I don't know if it's enough. Yeah, I don't think it can actually reach here. Yeah, not really too sure about putting the knight there. I'd be more, yeah, happy about placing it here. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. Uh, the helicopter should come back and try to recharge or something, if possible. It's already been recharged, this guy. I don't know whether it has already shot. Okay, just seeing what is happening here. Nothing. Okay, well, that's another turn. 